Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. The use of advanced diagnostic imaging tests, which exposes patients to considerable levels of radiation, has increased dramatically over the past 15 years, even in healthcare settings in which there is no direct financial incentive for ordering such tests. These are the main findings of research published in the June 13th issue of the Journal of the American Medical Association. Here are some questions you can ask your healthcare professional if you have been sent for diagnostic imaging tests. How much radiation will I be exposed to with this procedure? Are there other tests that might provide the same information with less radiation? And will this test need to be repeated? And if so, is there a concern regarding accumulating radiation? Researchers from the University of California at San Francisco reviewed the medical records between 1996 and 2010 among member patients of six large integrated health care systems from different regions of the United States. Since these patients are not covered by private insurance, physicians have no financial incentive for ordering expensive tests, such as diagnostic imaging tests. The investigators used data from the records to calculate how much the use of diagnostic imaging tests increased over the study period and how much this increase resulted in elevated exposure to radiation for patients. During the 15-year study period, nearly 31 million imaging tests were performed, which averaged out to just over one test per patient per year. Use of CT tripled, use of MRI quadrupled, and use of ultrasounds doubled. While use of nuclear medicine tests actually decreased, use of positron emission tomography or PET scanning increased by more than 50 percent. As a result of the increase in the use of CT alone, annual exposure to radiation among member patients doubled, and the proportion of member patients who received high or very high doses of radiation annually also doubled. By 2010, nearly 7 percent of member patients who underwent an imaging test received a high annual dose of radiation, and nearly 4 percent received a very high annual dose. Today's research suggests that patients should carefully discuss the pros and cons of undergoing advanced imaging tests such as CT or MRI with their healthcare professional. Be aware, however, that an advanced imaging test is often the best option as it is frequently the only way to accurately diagnose a particular condition. For Insider Medicine In Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.